Hello, my name is Bernd Hert and together with my colleague Niels Bauer, we are working in NetApp's Competency Center at SAP in Waldorf, taking care about our solution integration for SAP products. And today we'd like to start a video series about showing our solutions for SAP HANA. Let's have a look at the videos and topics we want to cover. So it's all about our Snap Creator product with a deep integration into Subhana. Today we'll start with the Snap Creator backup and what what to do is we explain the uh, landscape so you understand all the subsequent uh, topics we will cover in following video sessions. Now let's have a look at the landscape we are using for our videos and demos. In the center there's a production site with a NetApp HA pair uh, in an on-top cluster um, and we have installed an HANA system P01. On the top of the HANA system there's an SAP NetWeaver with SID PNW. For backup purposes the most important volumes are the data files, uh, the binaries and an NFS share for log backup. On a second server, we have installed SnapCreator with its HANA plugin, and SnapCreator is configured to back up the SAP HANA system. Starting a backup with SnapCreator uh, causes SnapCreator to contact the SAP HANA base to squeeze uh, the data, and then it talks to the uh, underlying controller and does a snapshot of the data backups and optionally the binaries. It's not always a good idea to have the backups sitting on the production server. Um, so in a second step, we can introduce an offsite backup, so a second controller. Um, of course, we can move the, the log backups, which are the archival backups uh, from the production side to the offsite backup, it's an NFS share, but we can also configure Snap Creator to automatically snap wall the backups from the production side to an offsite backup. Another thing is that customers often have a disaster recovery site where they they want to be sure that in a, in in a case of a disaster it can take over the production. So somehow the backups need to be there as well. For this, we can create Snap Creator to have a snap mirror relationship so that all the data um, is automatically synchronized to this disaster recovery site. As a final step, SnapCreator completes the backup by maintaining the HANA backup catalog so that HANA is aware of a successfully accomplished backup. Now let's start SnapTrader and select the configuration profile. Under Actions, we will find Backup. We select a policy where we have different options. Let's choose an hourly policy and start the backup. In the lower pane, you will see the log files that are created during the backup with all the different steps. First, we see that the HANA backup save point has been created. After that, the storage snapshot backup is successfully created on the storage controller. And the backup is closed, so letting HANA continue using the backup ID. Next step is the snap mirror relationship to the DR storage. The snap vault replication to the backup storage. And finally, the housekeeping is started. So cleaning all the backups on primary and secondary side that are outdated. And also that housekeeping is continued in the backup catalog where old log backups are deleted in case they are not yet needed anymore.
was that all the steps of a successful backup, including catalog management, have been done. We can follow that on the internal log. So we see the backup is on the primary side. The same backup is at the off-site backup storage. and also on the disaster recovery storage. We can start the SAP HANA Studio and check whether this situation is also in the, visible in the studio. So we select the backup and we look at the extended backup ID and see it's the same backup we've just done using Snap Creator. With this, you hopefully have a overview of our landscape and the complete backup workflow for SAP HANA. Thank you and make sure you watch the coming videos where we explain details about configuration, DR failover, restore backup, system refresh and all the other advanced topics.